Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel. And are you wondering how I have 384 cookies in my freezer? Well, I'm going to show you. Look at these bags. Do you see this? There are 96 cookies in each bag. <laughs> so what I'm going to show you today, I will have all four recipes down in the description for you. Um, but I'm going to put together one of these bags of cookies. I've got four different types. What I've got are slice and bake cookies. You know how you go and you buy those, those slice and bake cookies or the preformed little um, cookies that are frozen? You can make your own. And this recipe will make enough that each one of these flavors of cookies has 96. So the reason I have that, so here I have my slice and bake ginger snap cookies. And you can see they're each just a roll. Now, I have decided to take the rolls and make them half as long because I only want a dozen cookies. When I go to make cookies, we don't need more than that. So I have ginger snaps here and these all came out of the freezer so I can show you. I've got slice and bake peanut butter. That one doesn't have 96 because I've already made 12. <laughs> and slice and bake oatmeal cookies. And I'm going to make some of these later today. And it's a beautiful thing because I can just pull one of these out, slice it up, put it on a cookie sheet and bake it. And boom, I've got cookies, fresh baked cookies. So like people can come over and think, gosh, do you always make cookies every day? No, I just pull them out and do this. They're easy to make. So um, another thing you might want to notice, you see how I have slice and bake oatmeal cookies. And then I have the instructions on the front. This is a gallon zip top bag and all of the cookies from a recipe, all of the rolls will fit in one bag and here I have my ginger snaps it's got a little bit more because you have to cut them and roll them and roll them in sugar whatever um, the oatmeal cookies peanut butter cookies are awesome so I just put the oven to 375 and then I cut them in one inch uh, slices and they're wonderful so I'm gonna get everything set up for this video I will be making the slice and bake chocolate chip cookies so I'm gonna have the recipe you just follow the recipes and do what I do here and you can have all of these cookies just ready like that. Pull one out, slice it, bake it, boom, you've got fresh made cookies. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what you need for this recipe. So for this recipe, you need two cups of butter or margarine. I am using butter flavored Crisco because I like it. Looky, there's chocolate chips on the cover of that, so hey. Anyway, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use the butter flavored Crisco because I have it, and then one and a third cups of granulated sugar, which here I am using the Splenda Magic Baker because I'm trying to cut down on the amount of sugar and calories and things. And so this is the one that is specifically made for baking. And it is a one to one ratio. So I'm using that in place of regular sugar. If you don't want to use artificial sweeteners or you want to use a different type of artificial sweetener, that's fine too. You can just use regular sugar or um, you know, whatever other type of artificial sweetener you want to use. And then I'm going to use a one and two thirds cup of packed brown sugar. And again, for that, I'm using the Splenda Magic Baker. I've used this in actually all of the cookie mixes I made, I've used this and I don't notice a difference. Some people are very sensitive to it, they might, but for me it works fine. And then I'm using a tablespoon of vanilla extract, which I have right here four eggs which i have already cracked they're ready to go five and a half cups of all-purpose flour you might think that's a lot but remember you're making 96 cookies so there's going to be a lot uh, two teaspoons of salt with two teaspoons of baking soda and then two cups of ch semi-sweet chocolate chips and what i do see this it's vacuum sealed these were in my freezer when i go to like costco or big box store I buy the big bags and then I break them down into one cup increments and I vacuum seal them and I put them in my freezer. They're good for like ever. And I know that this is one cup, so there's my two cups. All I have to do is open that up. And I do the same thing with the nuts. I buy the big bags and then I freeze them in one cup increments. This one I did open because this is a cup of chopped nuts. Uh, it was not, I don't chop them. So I opened this and I chopped them and I put them back in the bag. So I've got a, two cups of chocolate chips and a cup of nuts that have been chopped. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is in the bowl, I'm gonna cream together the butter and margarine, or in my case, the Crisco, and then I'm gonna do also the brown sugar and the, the white sugar. So we're just gonna cream these things together. It's gonna be so good. 
I love having these cookies. It's kind of fun. Like someone's coming over, boom, you got cookies. You can just go whip them up. And so it says here, I'm reading the instructions because, you know, I want to make sure I do it right. So in a bowl, cream together the butter, margarine, granulated sugar, and brown sugar. So there's the granule. I'm just going to pour these in, and then I'll turn it on. And then the brown sugar. I'll put that in there. Now I'm going to cream these together. And once that's creamed together, I will come back to you. Okay, now I've got this cream together, and so now it says to beat in the vanilla and the eggs until light and fluffy. So I'm going to put the vanilla in, then I'm going to put all four of the eggs in, and then I'm going to turn it up so it kind of beats it a little bit more. And I'm going to let that go until it's really well mixed. And then after that, I've got my bowl here. Um, I'm going to combine the flour, salt, and baking soda. I'm going to mix that together, but we'll let this beat for a minute first. Okay, there, I'm going to turn this... I'm going to turn that off so that you can hear me. Now I've got my flour and I've got my salt and my baking soda and I'm going to put those in there and then I'm going to use a fork and just kind of kind of mix those together so they're well mixed. Oops. And then I'm, I'm not a fancy cook. We'll just say that. <laughs> kind of an everyday kind of kitchen girl. Oops. Okay, this probably should have been a bigger container. But here, now I'm going to mix that together and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir the flour into this egg, this mixture until it's well blended and then we'll add the uh, chips and the nuts. So let me turn this on and pour this in a little bit at a time. Let that go. And I don't want to get this center bit off of here. Okay. There we are. There we go. I'm not a professional. Now I'm going to keep doing that until all of the flour is incorporated and it's like a cookie dough. So I'll be right back as soon as that happens and we'll add in the uh, chocolate chips and the nuts. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to put in the nuts, the whole cup of chopped nuts. And then I'm going to cut into my chocolate chips and we'll get those worked in. And then it's done. It's so simple. Break these up a little bit. There we are. There's one cup. And I actually have a different beater if I'd have thought of it uh, for mixing things in your blender, but I don't have it on there, so we're just going to use this. This will be fine. Then I'm going to show you how to get these into equal portions. There we go. Come on. Okay, let me scoot this down. There we go. It's looking good. And then there's a way uh, in the bowl that I'll show you how I break it down into the eight sections to put it in the, the little rolls. Okay, this is looking good. I'm going to give it a couple, another minute or so of blending to make sure everything's well mixed. And then meanwhile, what you need to do is I like to use wax paper and I have uh, torn off eight sections of wax paper and those are probably like 14 inches long so I'm going to go ahead and mix this and then I'll come back when we're ready to put it into the little bags okay there we go now I'm going to bring this down and take my beater off uh, get out of there I don't want to touch it there we are there we go put that down I'll take this off and now I'm going to get my KitchenAid out of the way and then I will show you how I bag, I roll these up. Okay, I took the beater out of it. Now what I'm going to do is I just kind of go along and I push it down in there. Um, kind of make it a little bit flat, almost like this. And then what I do, the first section to get out is a little bit more difficult because once you get that out, it's easier to get. It's almost like you cut it up like a pie. Here, hold on, I'll show you. So I just kind of spread it in there. Some of the cookies are more doughy. They're not as soft, so they're kind of easier. But that's what I do. 
kind of get it in there nice and nice and around and flat like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my little spatula and I'm going to divide this into half fourths and then eighth. There we go. And then you've got kind of the same same size rolls. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to kind of cut it across here. Give me an idea of how much to scoop in each little roll. Like that. Okay. There, put this across here. And then, kind of gives you an idea. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to take one of my little papers. And I'm going to scoop out the eighth that I just calculated. There we go. Get out of there. This is a really soft dough. The other dough that's harder is easier to manage. But this will roll up just fine. Ooh, I need to tilt you down. Hold on a second. Okay, there, now you can see. So now I'm going to get the rest of this little bit out. And then, I'll show you how I roll. There we go. So there is the eighth. And you can kind of see it's the triangle out of there. And so I've got the other seven to do. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of roll this in a roll. It's easy to do with the wax paper. You just kind of roll it up. And this is the softest of all the doughs, but that's why I wanted to do this one so that you can see the other ones are actually a much firmer dough. So that's why when this, when the instructions are, you leave an inch and a half between your cookies on the cookie sheet because these will spread. Okay, so see there? It's like a cookie roll. Now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to roll it. And then I usually get to kind of the end and then I fold in those little ends and then I roll them and then when that's done I do this you don't have to but I do I take some plastic wrap just as an extra cover and then I roll it up also just like that and then that will go in the bag. So I'm going to do all eight of them and then I'm going to come back and I'll show you the finished uh, bag, ready to bag them up. Okay, I've got all eight of them rolled up and one of them is a little bit shorter and that's fine. I'm not, I mean, if you really wanted everyone to be exact, you could weigh it out, but I will just probably, this is actually a little thicker. It doesn't matter. Um, they're all pretty much the same. And the instructions are on the outside of the bag. And now I, in the time it took basically to make cookies from scratch, yeah, it probably took, oh, maybe 10 minutes to roll these up. Um, add maybe 15 minutes if you want to add the time it takes to um, write this stuff on the bag. So in the 10 or 15 minutes that it took extra, it was only like 10 or 15 minutes longer than just making cookies. I mean, you just have to do more ingredients, but it's still the same process. So in the time it took I to make like one batch of cookies, I have literally made eight batches of cookies, which is kind of cool. So now I can pop these in the freezer and pull them out when I want them. And there is eight dozen cookies ready to go. So I hope you guys give this a try. And remember, down in the description, I'm going to try to do it as a printable so that you can print out the instructions for the other three, which are the ginger snaps, oatmeal, and peanut butter cookies. And that way you can have some in your freezer too. I hope you enjoyed this. this is a Make It Mix Monday mix, but it's not really a mix, but it's uh, kind of putting things away to make life easier in the kitchen. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.